So would you say that was your defining moment when you actually became a professional? Because I'm, you know, the Stephen Pressfield model of that resistance from the War of Art, where they say that uh, he, I don't know if you've read the book, it's fantastic. I have not. Okay. I have it. it it's one of those things <laughs> on the shelf, say, I've got to read this, but it's important. <laughs> I've well, he talks about the resistance, whether it's from people around you, whether it's from yourself, and once that artist breaks through that being so fearful to show that film or whatever it is that's stopping them, those excuses, that's kind of the moment when they turn pro, so to speak. So do you think that was the moment when you finally said, you know what, I've had enough trying to almost get this job, I've come close, for some re reason I haven't made it, I've always been cut out, but this, this time I'm doing it, I'm gonna have that thing to put in front of people. And that was the moment that you turned professional that you turned that w that was certainly a breakthrough uh, deciding to raise money and make an independent film was certainly a breakthrough moment for me um, I hesitate to say that's when I became a professional because it was nearly 10 years before that I'd been hired to uh, to direct a film um, and so I would argue that you're a professional as soon as somebody pays you to do what you do. But coming to the conclusion that nobody was going to do it for me and I had to make this happen myself was certainly a, a, the key moment in getting to where I am today. And mind you, where I am today is no great shakes. I mean, maybe Sharknado 2 will come out and people will realize that the first one wasn't a fluke and that we actually know what we're talking about. Um, and then myself and uh, Anthony, uh, the director, and some other people involved will, uh, will be taken even more seriously. But that, that was the key moment that led to where I am now and hopefully will lead to even more.